We are back, my friends, and with us is 5280 Magazine to talk about the kickoff to their annual brunch event. Joining us this morning to break down Denver's best brunch options is the magazine's food editor, Patricia Calthumron. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning. So 5280 has this really big brunch event coming up. Tell us a little bit about that first. Yes, so it's March 18th um, in Rhino, and we have some of Denver's best brunch restaurants bringing some really great dishes, some bars, some music, so something to do on Saturday morning. And that's saying a lot because I always go to 5280 when I need food wrecks. Y'all have a lot of good stuff in there. Oh, thank Is you. Is it you that writes it? Uh, no, or it's not just me. <laughs> okay, your whole yes. team right there. We I was have like, an army. Apparently, people. I always yes. go to you for my recommendations. Oh, my, well, I'm flattered. <laughs> oh, I love that. And you actually brought some samples with you this morning. What do we got in front of us? Yes, so I did not personally bring these. I wish I could <laughs> take credit. We have some wonderful chefs behind the scenes who made these beautiful dishes, but we have some breakfast burritos from Bonfire Burritos in oh, Golden. Oh, love There's that. There's a, a vegetarian jackalope and a meat lover's um, chupacabra and Sullivan Scrap Kitchen um, in City Park. We have a sourdough pancake with some cinnamon apples. It looks so good. Yes. It's so <laughs> tempting to just start diving in and eating right? it right now. <laughs> we, Well, there's a fork and a knife if you want to just get in there. They kept um, that away from you on purpose. <laughs> um, we also have a, a green chili migas, which is um, some some stewed local corn tortillas. Yum. And yeah, some lovely cotilla cheese on there. I want to know what this bad boy is right here. Yes. <laughs> if you have a hangover, that is called the cure. It's an orange pineapple or um, pineapple, orange, and vanilla cocktail, Yum, which okay. it's non-alcoholic, but you can also add pineapple. Vodka. If you need some hair of the dog, you yes. know, for, for your cure, your Absolutely. added cure right there. And this, this has been staring me in the face this whole time. Yes. I need to know what this is. This is also a cure, but it's the Rocky Mountain <laughs> corned beef hash. It's slow roasted corned beef, so 14 or 12 to 14 hours. So super tender, mixed with hash browns. And then it also has a jalapeno bacon pineapple chutney on top. So is this going to be some of the food that people are going to be able to try at the event that y'all are having? Yeah, awesome. yeah. So we're super lucky. Um, we have some some great vendors, including these guys. So we're excited to have them and um, all the other folks, too. Well, Patricia, you're a lot nicer than me. I would take all the credit <laughs> for myself if I brought this. Yes, guys. I I did this. all of this. <laughs> yes. I did everything here. And you mentioned because these burritos are in Golden, so it's not just specifically in Denver. It's across the metro area. Yes, yes. So it's good. that's a good point. It's across the front range. Um, and yeah, really something for everyone. Awesome. Remind us when the event is again. So it's March 18th, um, 10 to, I think, 2, I believe. Oh, 1. It's at 1. 10, 10 to, to 1. 1. We got it right there in front yes, of Yes, don't stay till 2. Um. <laughs> well, and if you do, then we know you need maybe the cure or something like that. That is awesome. Okay, and where can you get your tickets at? So you can go to 5280.com and buy them there, and they're running out fast, so do it now. Awesome. All right. Patricia with 5280. Thank yes, you so much. Thank you so much for we'll having looking me. Looking to you for more recommendations <laughs> in the future as well. Thank you. Thank you. And Ed, maybe it'll be some good weather for people to